हेलो गाइस दिस इज वीरेंद्र सिंह एंड वेलकम बैक एट अनदर वीडियो ऑफ मास्टर कैम मल्टी एक्सेस ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड टूल पाथ्स सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट दैट सरफेस टूल पाथ्स अबाउट द मास्टर कैम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द मास्टर कैम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूजिंग ऑपरेशन मॉर्फ सो इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न अबाउट ऑल अबाउट द मॉर्फ हाउ द मॉर्फ यूज how it's work and how we can create a very good and smooth tool path with the help of the morph as well as in this video we also cover some important points when we create a multi axis tool path so how we can create a required curve for a particular that one particular tool path so we will also discuss on this so how we can do these kind of things as well so as you can see here this is my simulation and where i create a morph tool path and this is running on a four axis with the help of machine with the help of a rotary table so it's a running in a very perfect way and very smoothly it start to cut from the middle and it's going start from the center to the outside area and it's a cutting in a very smooth form and create a perfect work piece so you will learn all about as like as we are simulating this one component so it will cut the entire portion the each and every single face of my this part so as you can see this is now cutting over first face and once it done we will came to the our master cam screen to discuss about how we can create that same tool path so let me increase the speed of the simulation and complete this tool path so now all it's done yes it's done okay now this is same came to the second one so okay guys now this is my screen this is my master cam window and now let me discuss about that how we can create these kind of same tool path with the help of with the some easy tricks and tips to create these kind of tool first let me take the model for this one so for the take using this model i just choose this this is my model for the morph and i just drag and drop the same part so this is my model and now let me discuss about that how we can create a morph tool path so basically in the morph tool path what the things that we required we have one simple model morph tool path basically we are creating between the two surfaces <coughs> or between the two curves so let me discuss about how we can create so first i just go to the machine mill default and now this is my morph tool path so for creating this morph tool path first the thing that we required that we have to create a curve on this edge we have to create a curve on this edge so for creating curve on both of these edges i have to go in a wireframe before going on a wireframe i just increase the width of my this line so it can visible easily i have to go in a wireframe curve on edge this one is and this one is so both of these are the curve and now in the next step we have to we need to create a curve on a middle portion why we are creating the curve on a middle portion let me show you in a few seconds so i have to create select this one and i just save to say number of curves i reduce it and make it as 3 now in the next step i have to came in wireframe and we have to use one of the different option which i thought you never use previously if you are not a multi axis guy so this command is known as line normal to the point you have to choose click on the surface choose this line on this line edge so this is a normal length line we have to just say 200 mm or something or we can choose this as 100 mm so this will basically helps us to guide our tool perfectly so we are choosing this as 150 same we have to just zoom on this portion create the same line as per the surface and we have to create the same line in the middle of this line as well so all these are the perfect as we needed and now we have to create a spline with the help of this reference for that we have to came on a spline select first point select the second point select the third point and just say okay so now this is my spline to guiding my tool so now we don't need all of this 
three all these things so i just delete everything so this is my first stage this is my second stage and this is my guide curve so i hope you learned about that how we can create a guide curve so in the next step let we have to start to create the tool path now so we have to came in a tool path select a morph tool path select a library we have to choose a ball nose so i just choose a 20 mm of ball nose in the next step we have to came in a cut parameter cut parameter there are two methods to create a morph tool path the number one we can create with the help of a morph and second one we can create with the help of two surface if you are using with the surface so you have to choose the both of the surfaces at the portion if you are using with the help of curve we need to create choose the curve so for now first we have to choose with the help of the curve select a curve so this is my curve for selection a curve i have to go in a wireframe select this is my curve one this is my curve two in the same direction and this is the drive or machining geometry so i have to choose i have to i want to create the machining geometry or a machining on entire this area and i have to say okay this is my machining geometry so remaining all parameters are same and the similar to the parallel tool path so if you don't have idea about all these thing so just go to the parallel tool path and i cover each and every single parameter from this window now i just say tolerance little less because this i just create the number one tool path for now now i have to came on a tool axis control make sure when we are creating any multi axis tool path we always have to choose like as we have to define the cut parameter we have to came in a tool axis control and we have to say how it will be controlling with the help of four axis or five axis i just say four axis tool path now we have to define the tool axis control how tool will be controlled so these are the different method we already cover in the starting of this over video sessions of the multi axis if you don't have idea about all these options so you have to go and watch the videos from the starting in over master cam multi axis series so now we have to choose form chain select a chain and define it that curve tilt type how it will be tilting i just say closest point of the curve in a four axis what is the rotary axis it's x and now we just say okay so now this is curve tool path is created as perfect as we need it so now let we simulate it if i want to simulate in a proper way i have to go in options just say simulate with the rotary axis and okay so now as you can see this this will be came from the top our work piece will be rotating in a perfect line on a perfect position let me show from the right okay i just want to show you with the transparency so this is the perfect way or perfect method to create any multi axis tool morph tool path for these kind of profiles so i want to discuss about few more parameters for this part so let we have to discuss about on this so first we have to cover the read uh, things again for creating a morph profile we need a proper curve on both of us we need a guide curve or a chain first we have to select our tool then we have to come in cut parameter we have to choose from with the help of curve this is second curve we have to define the machining area we have to define all these things all the parameters and after that we have to came in a tool axis control we have to choose the chain however machine will be if we have five axis we can choose five axis format if we have four axis we can say four axis format and after that we don't discuss about the collision control here till now we don't discuss about the linking parameter till now let we have to know something little bit about the linking and how it's work so for now i just came uh to the in the place with the help of zigzag i have to came on a there are the cut order this is standard from the center away or outside center i just say center away and just say okay so what is the meaning of this at the this point how my tool is working it start to cut from the center and going center to the outside i have to came back in the parameters after coming in the parameters what is happening at the some at a small portion it is going per perfectly and after that it's going at the home position or reference point so what the things that we need to change 
we have to keep in a linking parameter and the, this one the default links small gap and large gap if our gap size is small it's relinking with the help of bland spline if large gap it will be retract to the clearance area i just say bland spline for the both so now look at the smoothness of this beautiful toolpath that name is morph it's start to cut from the center to the outside if i want to make some modifications i want to make from outside to the center just look at this we have to change on a parameter and now the beauty of the toolpath which is the morph it's start to cut from the outside portion for the inside if you don't want these kind of toolpath if you want a normal pass you can say standard as it was cut at the starting so now as you can see here this is my first method to create the toolpath now let me discuss on how the surface method is work we have to came in a parameter the second method is surface i just click on a surface for the surface you have to click right at here the pattern surface this is the second pattern surface the drive or machining portion is the same and now with the help of that tool path will be same everything will be same that is just a method you can define a surface you can define a curve that is totally depending on you so i hope you get an idea about the morph how it's work do let me know if you have any question or a doubt on a morph tool path we are always here to help you